I have an iPhone 6 Plus here that came in from another tech. He desoldered the shields and now there is no power. So I'm just going to go through the board and see if I can find something. This is my first time looking at it. Alright, let's see. First thing, I, you know what? Looks like it was, might have been water damage. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> First thing I always do is test C5202RF, always. It's not, okay, it's not beeping, but it's not beeping, but it has low resistance to ground, so there may be a fault in here somewhere. Pretty sure that's not. It's showing 154 ohms. Should be a little higher. Infinity, I believe. Yeah, it looks good there. He said he thinks he might have knocked something off the board when he desoldered shields. Um, I don't see anything right there. There's a little chip right there. So, and uh, that is Tigris, I believe. So that's. That could be a problem. Th so that would definitely affect the no power, I think, if that is a problem. But uh, let's just continue on here. We'll chip right here. Looks fine. Mm, right there. That's just the aura. I mean, I don't think this is like that right there is not good. I didn't do anything to that, and that's already off, so. Pretty sure that's probably missing something right there. Um, chipped. Missing something right here. <laughs> this is not worth fixing. Missing something here, here, loose. Look at that. This looks like it's bad. I mean, definitely pry. Missing something here. Missing something there, this is loose. I mean, come on. Missing something here. Yeah, this ain't worth fixing. Chipped. This is bad. I mean, look, it's water damage. Yeah, like. Unless you put it through the ultrasonic cleaner or something. Suspect right here. All this right here is suspect. Missing a pin. <laughs> yeah, this is not worth faking. So I'm going to call it a day on this one. Too much.